This is because any vertical structure would reflect radar waves, which is why they had to design it without vertical stabilizer or rudder at the rear. Let's look at how the B-2 Spirit avoid radar. Unlike normal planes that use rudders and elevators to steer, the B-2 has no vertical stabilizers. This is because any vertical structure would reflect radar waves, which is why they had to design it without vertical stabilizer or rudder at the rear. Instead, they used this technique of split drag rudders to provide directional stability and control in a flying wing aircraft. But there is a catch as opposed to conventional rudders, the control efficiency of split drag rudders is typically low for small deflection angles. That is why the B-2 Sprit turns very slowly compared to other military planes. The B-2 Spirit composite can be divided into several parts. Here, we find that all the edges are made of fiberglass epoxy to reflect radar, while the largest part of the wing is primarily made of graphite epoxy. Interestingly, the crew station assembly is made up of aluminum. At the base, since these areas have to withstand a lot of heat from the engine, they are made of titanium, a super strong expensive material. Finally, we have fiberglass polyamide, a stealthy material able to withstand heat. This is what it looks like with all the labeling and segments assigned to it to give you a better picture. Let's take a look at the $1 billion radar paint technology, which is still classified, but here's what we know from aviation experts. It involves the use of radar absorbing material, also called RAM. RAM is a polymer-based material applied to the surface of stealth military aircraft like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. 